and then he dropped one bar was one bar where he said um, i will really a country or a sea of of greedy people and like just brings us back to the same topic we talk about there i like how he went hard on the, the chorus you know in hard in our country exactly and like yeah so even if you play that song again in i don't know in the future you still relate to it because it will still be the same situation so, and, so. yeah and he also uh, spoke some of our opinions in when he said in the words of my mama there will be retribution uh, there will be karma oh, yeah. uh, retributive justice that the british cost this you know <laughs> yeah um yeah i mean uh, it was a nice one, although it's not part of my favorites. If we want to go five, <laughs> yeah, those, those are mine. Those are mine. Maybe you can okay. give us yours. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, number one um, song is "Up You Wake Up" for me. I would relate with that totally because of the vibe, because of the fire Fino brought to it. I think at some point, um, Ili was not really kicking it in, in this track. I mean. But then, you know, jumped in and it was like, boom, you know, take me, to, it took me back to when uh, Biggie and Jay-Z was doing I Love the Door, you know, <laughs> it's like somebody's just kicking and then the other guy comes in and ups the ante and then this guy says, okay, I'm coming back again. <laughs> and, you know, it was, it was, it was um, quite a good song. Um, I like that. Um, and I also like Generations. Um, I think he was probably, um, he was quoting um, Ojuku, I don't know, in the, in the first in the beginning of the song. was also very nice beat. Um, yeah, I mean, he really kicked it hard there. I mean, of course, he's not the very, uh, the most technical rapper. Uh, sometimes coming out really bland, uh, in, in all honesty. Um, uh, but I mean, you could relate because uh, some of these tracks are actually you know, stories that he's like, you know, talking I think, about. I, stuff, think I think the kind of rapper he is, he cannot really help or just go blank. Like, but why I really like Generations, uh, it's because he was he was really. Um, I think I think I could put one or two together because somehow he, he was a uh, um, calling cats like a uh, black uh, black. Uh, black Tots. bone, slag bone, paper colion, yeah. and you know, talking about them as the new kings. Yeah. But then, if you if you bring it back to where he was quoting the Juku, the, then it's also relatable to the Biafran struggle, and uh, I think that makes that track quite unique. Uh, it's one of the reasons I could call it a technical track. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, yeah, you know. Uh, it, it's very relatable saying that you know you you will be kings you know and stuff like that so, uh, uh, so relating that to the struggle of his people and then also to, to, to the rappers he thinks uh, are the future of hip-hop uh, uh, in Nigeria and remember of course uh, Johnny Drill did so good uh, work there and you know um, it was also a really mad beat as well good uh, and yeah, what he was talking about, his dad and then his aunt. Um, I think he was, you know, recalling two people who were very dear to him. Uh, and yeah, that was that was a good one. And then Green White Green, another mad beat. I mean, he does good to the beats again. Uh, of course, beginning of the Nigerian diaspora and also Nigerians um, as well. I mean, I also like the last track of the album where he was screaming like 40 feet for dinner. 40 yeah, feet. I wanted to ask Yakub about his opinion on Olamide's um, verse. What do you think uh, about yeah. it? I mean, I think it was, uh, yeah, I think it was Olamide. What you get from Olamide? Yeah, I think it's, I mean, you should expect it. <laughs> but I like the reading though. Yeah. 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 It was enjoyable to be honest. Like, yeah, quite a good yeah. album though. Very good. Yeah, quite a good album. And yeah, you know, from um from an award perspective, um, I mean it's um it's not the only way to judge uh, it was nominated album. for the yeah, it was nominated for two headies, right? categories right. in the headings. Um the headies, yeah. So oh, Shout out to the yeah. Who actually, who actually won uh, 
best so, rap album I so, remember. so basically um what happened with the head is was he actually won the lyricist of the role um award for my country mm. and um and then um and then lost the best album to, AQ. to whom to whom again to aq so ah it was um, aq who won that uh, yeah so uh, there, there was, was aq me. there was him and there was uh payback. there was a uh, uh, payback cult there was the Arigma by erika yeah uh, yeah and then there was yps zn2 by psycho oh, yeah, yeah psycho YP. so um i mean he losing to gox uh, to aq for god's engineering what do you guys think about this you think it's uh I mean, do you feel uh, God Engineering was probably a better album? Uh, it's a hard. It's hard to say, actually, because I think technically, of course, AQ is a better rapper. <laughs> uh, but then I like uh, the idea of ingenuity uh, as well. It comes. It comes uh, tops for me when I'm determining stuff. So that's why it will be hard for me to to place it. But but AQ's God Engineering was was one very good work. We will all agree. Although yeah. my favorite album in that category would be Payback's album. <laughs> if I was the head of my club, I would give it to Payback. <laughs> Thank God, you. <laughs> that's, that's just on the light note. But um, Slim, what do you think? I think God's Engineering deserved it. I think it's... Um... It's it's a, a more concise body of work, I would say. <clears throat> I mean, uh, yeah. like we already said, uh, um, you Blaze is like good beats, ly- meaningful lyrics to it. But I think uh, whatever topic is touching on, AQ touched on as well, and then mm-hmm. gave us some. So yeah, I would say go yeah. Yeah. It. it's it's about yeah. the bars. Yeah, I mean, also AQ is a very good marketer, you know. So AQ has been able to, I will say, I mean, this doesn't take away from his skill and his um, good work, but I will say he has been able to, like, you know, change the narrative about himself. And I mean, about him being the best rapper, best rapper. He's always saying everywhere, like, I'm the best rapper, I'm the best rapper. And, you know, after a while, it just basically like six in. Like everybody just starts okay. Where he's saying, this guy is always saying, let's even go and listen to what he's. Yeah. You know? And when you get there, you don't actually um, get disappointed as well. So, yeah. And you can I, also see Black Bones doing the same thing. Like, I'm the best rapper, I'm the best rapper. Oh, it doesn't. Isn't that what hip hop has been all about? <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, like, you know, to a certain extent, you know, you can, I mean, you can spin the narrative. Even MI does it. You know, this is the funny part. MI also does a bit of this. Like, like he does a bit of it. Like, there's well, a bit I would of... say he, he's giving you the work as well, right? So he did yeah, 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 yeah. It's matching. Exactly. Jumped but on you... his own project, jumped with another collab with uh, yeah. MI, gave you another one. So yeah. the space of, I don't know, two years, he's been pushing. Pro- it's almost like if the Griselda boys come out now, you'll be like, we're the best. Yeah, but then the thing is, you know, like some... People wouldn't say that, I mean, people wouldn't say they're the best. But if they start, like, you know, marketing this, uh, push this then, yeah. then, then a lot of people might just go and listen. No, and actually, exactly. uh, or, you know, like, you know, I mean, Lewin was, was giving you there. a lot of materials and then told you I'm the best rapper alive. Yeah, yeah. You have you to be in our faces. Like, oh, then yeah. you, guys should, you guys should check out Papoos this year. Every single month, he drops uh, an album. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the whole of the year. I mean, it's hilarious. This is, this I mean, is, at, at times stuff. you just have to you have you have to sell yourself. So <laughs> I mean, it's not just about dropping the bars or making good songs, but you have to also sell yourself. True, true. So would you give it to God? Not as important as the song, though, or as the work. Yeah, would you give it to God's engineering. Um. Well, to be very honest, I I, I think the two albums are very great. To, to, to <laughs> very good. But um, yeah, I will give it to God's Engineer. Anyways, yeah. so I'm the only one different here. I'm giving it to Payback. So hey. watch out, guys. Uh, we're gonna review Payback's album very soon. Oh, uh, an album called. <laughs> um. Then there was another one. He basically um won lyricist of 
the on the roll for my country. Now, in the same category, you have EQ Venice, you have Black Bones Define Rap 2, you have MI Abaga Trinity, you have Phenom, um, get the info, and then you have Fino Speak Life. Now, uh, putting this in the mix of this, uh, you know, great artist, how do you think it stands? Well, is that like the song Country? Yeah, country. Yeah, the song country was one that, that, that yeah. for it. Yeah, it's it's a well composed song if you if you ask me. Good beats, um, and the fact that it's very relatable, especially at that time when the album dropped. I think sometimes you know this this awards are also a bit influenced by by you know situation. It's you know I, I would say the fact that it was well composed. Um, could easily have made it scale, you know. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think it's it's well done. Like, and then yeah. there's a message in it, and then there's aggression, and then at the end of it, it's switched to pigeon again, so yeah. everybody can relate in a way. Like, there, there's no way you can like. Give. I mean, yeah. of course, there's emotions tied to it, right? Because of yeah. What, yeah, so yeah, I mean, you also have to make impact. I think uh, it's part of it. So when you do rap, you have to make some kind of impact. People have to relate to it. And um, one thing about um, Il Bliss that I kind of really liked. I mean, he's not the kind of guy that will cram one million words to to pass the message. So he's going to like he's like all oh, these very wise fathers that will just drop small word but you have to get the message still. yeah true and he's um i mean like the way he kind of like also on the generations track the way he kind of like you know talked about different things that kind of tied into the same topic so he was like talking about like you know the, the generation of rappers you know this is one um scheme and then also he was talking about some other stuff like that yeah, I think he's. Um, I mean, he, he he's. I mean, he he he's a very um, articulated person. Yes, he is, he is most definitely. So, um, jump into the close of it. If you guys could criticize something, what would it be? So, and yes, we know it's a very good project. You know, have to keep <laughs> that. Yes, I mean, like you know, they always say like you have to do the sandwich thing, right? So you don't. So there's always this said it like, before. Like, okay. <laughs> like you know, because also it's a very it's a way that I kind of seek <laughs> feedback. You first put the you know the good qualities, you put them, you now put the feedback and then yeah, you know, well, the, you know, beating the drums or the album and we all agree like it's a yeah, I mean I think um like I, I can't like put away the the good part of the album. Um I personally, as someone who, who you know, relates with um, rap, I mean, I really like rap for, you know, for the rap. I think he did justice and it would be really nice to compare him, I mean, bar to bar or maybe like style to style with other rappers. But I would have loved to see more complimentable rappers on the album. Like, you know, it's a rap album and uh, I would have loved to see maybe if maybe one or two guys more who, you know, could bring, you know, a complimentary style to the album, you know. So this, I think it's kind of missing from this album. Otherwise, um, it's a good album. Mm-hmm. What about you, OJ? Uh, f- for me, it will be more about the fact that, I mean, I like to judge albums by the whole body of work before I start talking about tracks in the album. So, an album can really mirror something, and this was this was done quite well here. Um, you know, very relatable talking about you know things happening and then relating them to himself. They're quite the uh, so so so. What I would have um, what I would have wanted more um, was not to get. There were a bit of times when the 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 
especially from the from the chorus or something i don't know uh they, they, some of some of some of them came out bland i would say um it could have been more technical you know how how this because you already have an idea what this track is about from the storyline that he raps about and things like that i think it could have been could have been better maybe if he has featured people as as, uh, as you rightly said maybe they could have been you know touches to it that will elevate they would have elevated it a bit um on that level that will be you know my my critique of the album otherwise it's 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 very very good work yeah i think i agree with uh do I agree with what you guys have said already um my own critique would be um i know yeah the project of the album is like il chapo is a done right so of course it's going to talk about like brag and uh, whatever talk about himself uh which i understand but also i feel he could have done justice with god as well by maybe uplifting uh, women in a way as well um just talking about how they are queens or goddesses as well in one way or the other i don't really think there's a like the, from the verse you can get that yeah, um, it was quite average just the lyrics from this track yeah, yeah it was like you could fade away and just like, yeah and also i think there were like two songs that you can actually make one um country green white green in a way you could yeah them up like different versions. generations as well from uh, and, uh, right. kaku and um um kaku and 40 feet container 40 feet container <laughs> because it's also talking like about his pride as a as a nebo guy um yeah in a way i think he could do that just in a way just um find that but i, I also understand like you have to put all the content there for people to choose whatever they like as well but um yeah that would be my creative but uh, it's still like an enjoyable album as i said um you could just play it all through and without skipping any song so yeah it's a good one yeah i mean one thing i would like to see from ill i mean it's like yeah good lyrics and, and all that yeah you you can see that already but I, one thing i would like to see is you know him go beyond the two bar rhyme scheme changing thing like he's like you can always almost predict that he's that this is the way like his verse is going to be like this is the next word i mean this is the next rhyme you know so he's i mean it's it's not also like i mean this is also this also forms on that technicality <laughs> but um i feel i feel he could actually do better with it that's why with, with, with the that's creativity like, right so in terms of like you know like i mean it's very predictable that he wouldn't repeat a rhyme after the second time but well, playing devil's advocate don't you feel it's also because of the market of nigeria that you have to dumb down lack of better term, dumb down. No, i mean you could still dumb down so you'd see like even if in fino's case which is 100 relatable to the nigerian um you know this guy was like on his verse he was like using the same scheme you know he used not i'm not saying you have to do like you know a double scheme where like you know three different words is rhyming at the end of the the verse but maybe just that one but then it's it keeps rhyming and you keep telling your story right this is i mean this is a bit of technicality yes but uh yeah i mean it's it, it also gets a bit monotonous when you can easily predict what an artist is going to say next or how he's going to very funny because i'm also a fan of monotonous music ah, okay but i mean maybe it's also like the ones our, 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 our parents listen yeah. to listen to 40 minute music you know talking about the same thing uh, but then you could bite to it the whole time i think it's something massive and crazy so maybe i want to give him kudos that he could do that and i i also uh, liked it you know yeah i mean i think that is also a good one i mean it's different perspective perception and opinions it doesn't um support change anything and doesn't yeah, say yeah. Just your own and doesn't make yours accurate or makes yours oh, of course, yeah true true um yeah so anyways um 
we all agree that it's a good album. And if you have to rate it over 10, 10 being the highest, what would your number be, Yakub? Um, for me, I think that I will give it a 6.5. And OJ? Uh, for me, it will be a 7. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'll give it a 6. 6.5 as well. <laughs> I'll give you a 6.5 as well. Yeah. So you want to ask me why I have 0. 0.5 more? <laughs> oh, you can say Did you not <laughs> to be asked. It's <laughs> because it's relatable. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. But anyways, I think maybe one of these days as well, we'll just um, maybe make a podcast about best Nigerian storytellers yeah <laughs> rappers as well because yeah that would be that would be a fun one to to really address and then we have to do our research and and, and tell the people why we feel these guys are the best like rappers that really paint the pictures so guys um go down right there on the comment session uh section and uh yeah tell us what you want to hear us with you we have uh a lot i'm very sure most of the things you would uh, suggest we would already have so it will help us uh, easily narrow down uh, to what we want most definitely and i think maybe the the start demanding for the 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 the, the mainstream guys soon but yeah, <laughs> yeah we'll, come there soon. we'll come there gradually but anyways um it's been very enjoyable um reviewing this album and shout out to iblis and yeah you guys have um, many words. Yeah, shout out to Iblis. Shout shout out to Yemi Aladi. <laughs> shout out to Tony Drill and um, you know Lamidi and everybody who made the album. That's so sad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. And, oh, and, and this too. guy called Toye. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to we need to do our, our due diligence on Toye and check. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Good piece of work. Shout out, Iblis. And yeah, guys, so this will be the end. Uh, and then we'll see you next time when we do a new review. Have a nice one. Okay, boss. Ciao. <laughs>